Nation of Fit in 10. Welcome to day nine of the challenge. Day nine. And uh, yesterday we talked about some reasons why having enough calories is important for fat loss. So why having a, you could think of it as a happy medium. Why getting enough calories is important for fat loss because quite often people think the less, the better. So I'm gonna go through some more reasons here. Uh, I'll just quickly reiterate the ones that we went through yesterday. And I wanna emphasize that these are all very important points. These are not little sort of like minor little things that don't, man, yeah, they're, they're gonna make a bit of a difference, but not really. No, these are major reasons, okay? And of course, we always wanna think long-term. We wanna think how can we, uh, if we wanna have better maintenance with our, our body weight and ultimately our health, we have to think long-term. As I said yesterday, and you've heard me say many times before, you are just a reflection of your recent past. All right, so uh, four reasons we went through yesterday. One, it's more sustainable. Eating more calories is more sustainable than less calories. Number two, that this is about a little bit every day. You, you can't sprint for months on end or years on end. It's just, you're gonna burn out. All right, the digging, essentially the digging up adds uh, adds up over time. Number three, maintenance of metabolism. So the greater the uh, the greater the deficit that we create, the more likelihood that we are going to slow down the processes that support uh, the rate at which we burn through energy. Okay, so. We create more of a deficit, there's going to be certain mechanisms in the body that are going to slow down. We are going to become more energy efficient. We don't want that. We want energy inefficiency. Number four, maintenance of lean body mass, in particular, lean muscle mass. One of the key indicators to, uh, in, in terms of uh, keeping a high body inefficiency, energy inefficiency, right? We wanna burn lots of energy. One of the ways we do that is by maintaining as much lean mass as we can. And this obviously goes beyond muscle mass, uh, but muscle mass is the most costly. All right, so number five, thyroid production. All right, now this might fall in with uh, number three, maintenance of metabolism, but in particular, the thyroid is the master regulator of your metabolic rate, your resting metabolic rate. And in particular, by the way, this is something I forgot to mention yesterday. In particular, the reason why you wanna have carbohydrates in your diet, or one of the reasons why you wanna have some carbohydrates in your diet is that this will help to keep your thyroid production higher. If you go on a ketogenic diet or a low carbohydrate diet, your, your risk of lowering your thyroid production is much greater. So this is precisely why if I'm working with uh, well, this could be with regular clients. I was going to say with competitive clients, clients in general. But if I have a client that's doing a low carbohydrate diet, well, typically, or lower carbohydrates, I will do some form of carbohydrate cycling, meaning I will have days where there's going, they're going to have higher carbohydrates among the lower days. And this is one reason, obviously, why I keep, or another reason why I keep your carbohydrates so relatively high throughout the challenge. Number six, you need fuel for training. You need, you need to have productive uh, workouts. You need, to, you need to be able to recover from these workouts. And in order to do this, you need enough energy. Okay, what's the point of removing tons of energy if you can't even work out properly? The working out is part of the process of, of, of you know, improving your health, increasing your strength, losing body fat. It's all part of that process. Number seven, having enough energy. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really stress carbohydrates in general, but energy in general, getting enough energy is protein sparing. So getting enough uh, carbohydrates and fat, but in particular carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the most protein sparing macronutrient. We don't wanna use protein for energy. That's a very expensive energy source. We certainly don't wanna do this. We want to reserve protein to do its job 
and that is really maintenance of tissues, not just muscle, everything. Your body, all your lean tissues are mainly, with the exception of fat, well, I guess I don't have to say that because I, I, I said lean tissues. All of your non-fat tissues are mainly made up of protein, including your bone, including bone, by the way. Okay, bone is over 50% protein. It always drives me crazy when you hear this myth that protein eats away at your bones. No, your bones are made up of protein. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Primarily protein. Number eight. Well, this would be more of a question. Where do you go once you plateau? Because you will plateau. So if you're trying to lose more body fat, if that's your goal, in this case, that's what we're trying to do here. Where do you go when you plateau? You, you, I mean, essentially you have to remove more food. So, you know, here's what I'm saying. If you create small deficits and you run them for a long period of time, your chances are greater at losing more body fat than if you make a sudden drastic change in, in calories and then try to ride that out for a long period of time. You will lose more body fat keeping your calories higher, having a smaller deficit and running that for a longer period of time than for the same period of time doing a massive deficit. I guarantee you, okay? So, you, you know, you've got to think again, long-term, what are you going to do when you plateau? Because plateau will happen. Oh my God, six minutes and 30 seconds. Let's get to the message of the day. <clears throat> but I guess this is actually quite kind of fitting. This is a process. This is a process. Everything is a process. What you might consider things to take you backwards are not. It's part of the process, just like, you know, sleep. You might think, well, why should I sleep? I should just, you know, if I don't sleep, I could maybe lose more weight or I could get more work done or I could achieve more. No, it's part of the process. You need to sleep in order to function properly to, you know, it's, it's all part of the grand picture or the bigger picture, I should say. Right, you need to do these things. You need to do the things that you think are, are are potentially holding you back, like eating a little more food for you to have a more long term uh, situation or long term uh, scenario to to get you to where you want to be. Right, this whole thing is a process, so remember that. All right. Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself for the love of God. Give some gratitude. I'm working on getting these videos under five minutes. I'm, I vow to do it. I will do it. I promise you. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow.